I didn't make this look like it's easy to have on here. Cool. Alrighty then. <laughs> didn't even realize that you were there chilling out and watching this as it was going on. Hope you've had a fantastic weekend and I really, really hope that um, the week I had, you know, is off to a perfect start. I see Dave has just tuned in. Thank you so much. Right, my name is Prosper Tarubinga, by the way. For those that are watching this for the first time, Peter, how's it going, my man? Hope you're still enjoying your weekend. If this is your first time encountering the Lunch and Learn with Prosper, you're very welcome, and I hope that the next 30 minutes are going to be jam-packed with explosive content that's designed to help you market, scale, and grow your online business. All right, Barbara, thank you so much for tuning in. Hope you had a fantastic weekend. Now, all right, I don't know anything about you right now, but I know what you might be going through. I know what struggles you might be facing at the moment because you know what? I'm paying attention. I'm watching the people that I want to be creating and relating to and right about now I probably know you have no leads in your business you probably don't have a guaranteed income you're probably studying everything else that you need to get ahead you have no systems if you have any to follow you probably don't have a process that is designed to actually help you get the results that you're looking for so far you probably just went through the weekend but you did not have a lot of free Freedom. You did not enjoy the time as you wanted to. You know why? Because you were tied out to your computer so you can fulfill a few tasks at hand. All right. And I know right now you might be in a lot of groups, but deep down you understand that you are alone. You probably don't have a network and you're really, really struggling and not making enough income. That's the kind of people that I seem to be relating to these days. And, and, and if they are running their online business, I want them to know something. You are not alone. All right. There's a lot of people that are looking for proven systems like yourself. There's a lot of people that are going around chasing all the shiny objects and all they want is to earn a lot more money right now in their business with the less struggle. All right. So initially, uh, Barbara says, I had a great weekend, only touched um, by computer Sunday night. Lol. Okay, that's good for you. But a lot of people that I know and I can tell how stressed they are by what they put out online. Okay, you can tell the, the, the size of somebody's problem by the sort of status or the questions that they ask. And if any of those questions do not correlate and relate in the language of people that are being successful or people that are actually hitting their goals, you can still tell that. Okay. You know what? As a digital marketer like myself or as a business owner that's dedicated their whole entire life to help people's businesses grow, to help people make more money in their business and to have them do that with less struggle, I want to tell you that. As I said before, you're not alone and I'm really, really here to help you. And this video today is going to talk about the biggest struggles that I see and have gone past and through the online space. First of all, coming into a country that nobody knew who I was. Second of all, not having a connection or a network. And third of all, starting into a business that I had no experience in, etc., etc. So that might be you right now. That might be what you're going through right now. And Trish, thank you so much, my love, for tuning in. Jordan, thank you so much for tuning in as well. You know what? And... I've been there. I've, I've tried to jump onto every course. I've tried to jump on every new and shiny object. I've tried to buy the latest, fastest computer anyone has ever created. I've tried to have the latest phone with all the apps and all the memory and etc. etc. But what remains is my results have not changed or my results are not even any further than they were before, except my bank balance is probably lower. My, uh, the relationships that I have with people are probably diminished. And Chris, thank you so much for tuning in, my love. All right. Now, I changed all of that when I went on a trip around Australia. I started looking at exactly who am I creating all of this for and why should they care? All right. See, at the end of the day, all you really got to realize is 
Who are you trying to reach out to and why should they give a damn? Yeah, and Barbara says, just share this to the group for you, Prosper. Thank you so much. I hope to, please, I hope it's all going to work out to your expectations. All right? So lately, I've just realized that my behavior sort of relating to the marketing industry has changed. It has changed completely. I'm no longer looking at, you know, what campaigns anyone is putting out there. I'm no longer putting at, looking at what people are, are, are putting out on social media. I'm no longer interested in all the trends of what's coming up in 2017. You know why? Because every single year something new, something shiny, something different is going to come in and it will take away your attention from the real stuff, from the core things that you really want to do, which is to have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. Okay, it's not about the next Instagram, um, you know, filter. It's not about the next shiny Snapchat geo filter that's going to change the perception the market has on your product. It's you. It's what are you doing and why should people care what you're doing? All right. If you don't really understand that you are not any separate to what you're putting out there, you are not any separate to your brand, you are not any separate to your message, you are what people are buying into, the confidence, the courage, the charisma, that's how it's all going to change for you. There's not going to be any instrument that you can pick up. Every chef might be given the same pots, the same pans, the same knives. But what comes out on the other end is the chef's character. It's the chef's, um, you know, ingenuity. It's the chef's passion about the business they're putting inside there. Now, I've become more interested in the behavior of the online business owner or the online entrepreneur more than what my competition is doing, more than what, you know, new shiny object is out there. You know why? Because the online business owner like yourself is who I need to serve. All right. It's, it's, it's so fundamental that once you start living and breathing in the footsteps of your ideal customer or the person that you really want to serve, it seems now to become second nature when you put out content, when you put out a blog or when you put out a, a Facebook live video like this, because you know what? They get you. You get them. And then your message is no longer falling on deaf ears. But what most of us are doing is we're just hooking up with our brand. We're just hooking up with our service. All right. And then over the weekend, we go on and we play and we forget how to market and how to actually create this marketing into a lifestyle. All right. I'm no longer, you know, you know what I'm doing now? I'm no longer looking at what, um, you know, the, the, the uh, Facebook has done or what new gadget they've put up out. I'm actually looking at the guy and the girl, you, who's struggling with their Instagram and why they cannot understand how Instagram stories can work and help them with their brand. I'm looking at that guy who doesn't understand why Snapchat does not invest in influencer marketing and why Facebook Live video is such a big hit now and why they're not doing it. That's the guy I'm looking at. You know what? Because I want to serve them so that they can be able to serve their own customers. What are you doing in order to actually live in the shoes of the customer you want to serve? Because you cannot influence anyone that doesn't respect you. You cannot influence anyone that doesn't get you or you don't get them. All right? Can you imagine right now? Because I speak five different languages. Every single day in this chowras and in order, this chowra and each other and in a zero. I mean, did you even hear what I said in the last five seconds? I don't think you did, but it's quite relevant. If you go into a market that you're just speaking your own language and hoping that somebody would understand, it ain't gonna work like that. Do you know what I mean? What we're doing is we're distancing ourselves so far away from the person we actually need to serve. And guess what the competition is doing? The competition is sweeping them away. And now our efforts are not going to be recognized. You know why? Because we are not speaking the language. Yeah? And that's the reason why every day... Nicole, thanks for tuning in and welcome to the <laughs> stuff that I'm talking about. 
You know what? I've become so curious about how online business owners actually optimize their time and how they find the balance between, you know, learning for their business and also for their own personal development and actually executing, um, you know, what, what they're being taught or, you know, executing all that stuff. And I want to see the results of what they're learning and I don't see it. So what that means is there's not enough implementation on the market. People are just really, you know, consuming, consuming, consuming the content, but no one is actually doing anything to, um, to, to implement. So that's the reason why every single day for 30 minutes, we have this lunch and learn strategy session so that I can tell you where you're doing it wrong and where you need to implement. And then I leave all the other tricks and trips to all the other guys that are out there telling you what, you know, the, the next shiny object is. All right. Now, Trish says, yes, all markets speak a different language and we need to learn that language in order for them to understand us. Exactly. Did you notice the other five seconds that I was speaking in my own language? To me, it made sense. But to everybody else who's watching this, unless you're from Zimbabwe and you're Shona, it, it's, it's, it means jack diddly. It's gibberish. All right? So instead, I know you've got something else in, um, besides your business that you got to work on. If you can't really put your word out there, if you can't really put your message out there to a market, maybe engage or partner with somebody else that, you know, would help you with, with your marketing. In fact, before I say anything, and, and like I say before, and I've said this earlier on, some people are just hooking up with their brand. They're not getting married to their brand. Marketing is not just a job or something that you do and you tick it off the list. It's a lifestyle. What message are you putting out there? Who needs to listen to it and why should they care? That's exactly what you're supposed to be putting it out there. And I'm going to say this again. It's not a must have or a good to have. It's a lifestyle. Yeah. You know, everybody who sort of works in marketing or, um, you know, who does marketing for their business would actually agree with me right now. Marketing is not a nice to have or just a job. It is a lifestyle. How are you bringing your message to the people? How are you making people aware of yourself? How are you staying top of mind? You know, I, I feel very sorry for my wife. <laughs> She's an amazing lady. But, you know, I know those people that live with marketers, you know, they understand what I'm talking about. Send me to the shops today. I'm not going to be looking at the product you asked me to, 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 to pick up. I'm going to be looking at the packaging of the product. I'm going to be looking at, you know, where is it in the shelf. I'm going to be looking at what messaging is used around that product. I'm going to be looking at how many people have picked up, how much of it, what social proof do I have that this product actually works. Instead of going to go and pick up a bag of salt, right, for one for 30 minutes, I then maybe come back pretty much maybe having forgotten what I went to the shop for, but I've got all this information about, you know, how, you know, to utilize marketing and put out a message out there, you know, the marketer would spend most of the time in that supermarket that any other woman does. And especially me, that's what I would do. Because for me, it's all about the product, it's all about studying its price, it's all about, you know, looking at why are people picking it up from the shelf better than this other product. It's all about the packaging, it's all about, you know, the customer, who else is looking at that particular product, what promotion did they use to, 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 to get my attention to that. So if you <laughs> never send a marketer to the supermarket if you want something urgently, it might be back in five hours, you know? All right. So, you know, even when I go on holiday, I'm looking at what landmarks they're there, studying how I can put my message in, you know, substituting the words that they've used, what draw my attention to that particular thing and anything that's associated with that place. Why do people like it? What are people saying about it on social media, et cetera, et cetera. Are you doing the same for your brand? Or are you just spraying and praying and hoping somebody would see your stuff? Because if you're not really living and breathing your brand every single day, wherever you go, up until people talk about you at a barbecue, they're hiring at McDonald's.
That's that's the last that I heard. You know. So if you're aiming for maybe you know vis visibility or positioning in the market, you gotta get ready to start changing your lifestyle because people buy from people they're gonna buy your enthusiasm they're gonna buy your confidence in the product they're gonna buy how you know how you present it to them and how it looks like you're actually living and breathing what you're selling you know why because it actually works right now they want what they cannot have which they see you embodying Okay, so that's the really biggest thing. The fact that you want to just put out an ad and, 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 you know, hope that somebody's going to understand what you're trying to say, it really doesn't work like that. You know, what I've seen from maybe the, the, the last year, say 2016, and maybe the year before 2015, when, when video became something that, that is, you know, when video became something that became tangible, Marketing has now started changing, you know, from day to day and from one day to another, you know, it, and, and, and it so happens that, you know, in, in the midst of it all changing, etc., etc., we also need to be adapting. We also need to be finding ways to, 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 to cut through that noise, etc., etc., and it's not getting any easier. You know why? Because Facebook is making it harder and harder for people to be poor. Anyone like me right now, have an office wherever you want, can actually hold people's attention and deliver their message for 30 minutes every single day for free. Yeah? And I believe that now we are now struggling to actually, you know, you know, come through, first of all, the attention span of the people we need to reach out and our own attention. You know why? Because the shiny object there, shiny object there, shiny object there, shiny object there. And we are not really studying and looking at our market enough to know who our exact competition is. Your competition is not the other graphic designer. Your competition is not another marketer. Your competition is not, um, you know, um, Tony Robbins. Your competition is not Frank Kern. Your competition is not Russell Brand. Your competition is not anyone that you're seeing in your periphery. Your competition is not anyone that you know. Do you know who your competition is? Sally's cat. Jenny's little two-year-old cute toddler. John's new boat. Sally's new Ferrari. Michael's new holiday in the Bahamas. All right? So the attention that people are giving to things as what you really need to figure out what it is and be a part of that yeah because i've already told you that i'm more interested in the online business um owner's mindset than the behavior of what's happening in the industry yes Gary V may come up with, oh, you need to look at this new product. You need to look at this new product. But what is Trish doing with her time? How can I fill her time with Prosper's videos? How can I fill her time with my content? All right. What, what everybody else is telling you about Facebook ads, etc., etc. How can you compete with Jane's little girl that just got born yesterday who's got a cute smile? How are you competing with that? All right. So I, I feel like we, we, we really need to, to reshape our battles because we are fighting a, a, a losing battle. We are fighting battles with things that we're not even paying close attention to. Yeah. This, this attention is, is, is a term which is twofold. All right. And many, many online business owners, they struggle to understand what I'm talking about. First of all, it's the, it's the industry behavior. And second of all, inside the customer's mindset and customer's behavior. Yeah. Inside, inside of the business, in, in, you know, or the industry, uh, you know, uh, behavior, you know, we've got in the last few months, I've just realized that a lot of online businesses have lost their concentration. They've lost it. It's gone. Yeah. For example, let me give you a perfect example. Let's say you are a graphic designer or you're a content marketer and you're working on a new article. You know, you're typing away. 
and then you know you've got your own pattern of how you work and you know the, the, the kind of products you produce and before you 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 were so disturbed and distracted by you know the ding of your phone or that's a new message that's a new whatsapp message that's a tweet that's whatever it is and then you've lost the concentration that you were doing on your work to actually output something of substance yeah don't ever deny that you know if, if, if an email comes in you're not going to jump on and 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 then start and read to to see what it is unsubscribe from all those emails that are not helping you at all instead when an email comes in all they're doing is just giving you their own agenda guess what that's 10 minutes of your life you're never gonna get back and that's the attention that i'm talking about guys you know, so maybe you're just sitting there, you know, you're listening to some music, you drink a cup of coffee, and you're still writing on your article. But guess what? You are notified on your phone that, you know, somebody just liked your last Instagram photo. All right? That's cool. We all like that attention. We do. You right? You unlock your phone, and then you get onto Instagram, and all you do is keep scrolling, keep scrolling, keep scrolling. Yeah, some of you keep scrolling until they've even gone all the way back to MySpace. All right, we don't realize how much that rabbit hole keeps going down. Now you get updated on what everybody else is doing. You are now updated with you know the latest you know new and shiny whatever is on the market, and all of a sudden you've forgotten your core work. You've you've forgotten what you were writing. Five minutes go, ten minutes go, it all adds up. A WhatsApp notification comes in, you know, there's a group talking about maybe whatever they had for lunch yesterday or whatever they did over the weekend, you, you, you dive into that again. That's what the industry is giving you. All these little distractions that are just making you not concentrate on your work and eventually make you feel inadequate. You know why? Because you feel like you're putting in the work, but you're not producing anything. It's those little distractions right there. You know, that small talk, that 10 minutes, you know, and then you go back to your article again and you've forgotten where you were. It's lunchtime and you got to start looking after the family and that day has gone and you've not produced anything, but you were working. That's the biggest struggle that I see, number one, in what we're doing in the online space. This is what I've done. I've segmented my day into hour blocks. So every hour I'm doing something in particular. And if I finish that, my reward is to go on Facebook and interact with the people. I just don't wake up and jump on Facebook, etc. before finishing my stuff. I have now gone to a stage where I don't pick up the phone. If somebody really wants to get in touch with me, they have 34 ways of getting in touch with me. Because if I pick up your phone, you're giving me your agenda. Those two minutes I would have been using to put out my work so that I can create and relate to the people that are actually paying me. We're not realizing all those little one hour, well, I mean, one minute, two minutes, uh, three minutes that we're giving away to people so that we can listen to their dub ideas. Yeah? So we're easily distracted with our, you know, in our own daily work by our social lives. All right? And, you know, this is only just one situation. Now, can you imagine... Uh, I'm also in it as well. You get distracted by all these photos and, you know, or, or people that are brainstorming about things that they're gonna do. A lot of people are not even implementing, but when they hear a strategy, they jump onto it and they're like, oh, this is what I did, this is what I did. Bullshit. Yeah? So at the end of the day, you know, I believe all online marketers will continue to struggle to work effectively and eff efficiently if they keep getting distracted by notifications on their phone. This is what I did. I took off all notifications from my phone. Yeah? So I'm not ignoring you. I'm not ignoring anyone, but I'm concentrating on working. That's the reason why every single day I can show up on my Facebook for 30 minutes. You know why? Because I, this is scheduled. 30 minutes, none whatsoever. Nobody can call me. Nobody can get through to me. You know why? Because I'm delivering. All right? Because it's my time and I respect my time and, and, and the work that I'm doing and the people that I'm doing it for. You can always reply to that message when you finish work. You can always take a break after you've actually completed the tasks at hand. And that's the reason why you, you're looking at the stuff that you're supposed to do, but you've got no output. 
Almost doesn't count, guys. I almost finished a blog. I almost did a podcast. I almost did whatever. But results is what matters, guys. Results. All right? So if you're not respecting your own time, nobody will either. And that's one really big thing that's putting your work on hold while you're accepting other people's agendas. Yeah? The other thing that I'm going to talk about, the last thing that is the biggest thing that is, you know, stopping you from positioning yourself is because customers don't understand what you do. Customers don't care and customers have not been, you know, put in, in touch with your work enough for you to actually have positioned yourself as top of mind to them. You are not positioning yourself as the person that can solve their problems at all. You know, the, the, the customer's attention is the thing that, you know, you as an online business person works to actually achieve and gain every single day, guys. Yeah? Attention. These eyeballs, right? <laughs> Make sure you respect them more than anything else. Attention is part of the equation that every online entrepreneur like yourself should be trying to solve to get from every customer that, you know, enters their periphery. Yeah, think about, you know, the most successful, uh, you know, marketing campaigns you've, you've probably ever seen. I'm 100% I'm sure that attention was the secret ingredient that that online business needed for their business to go viral or their message to go viral. Nothing goes viral or nothing gets shared if somebody's not paying attention to it. Yeah, think about the most sort of um, successful, you know, media networks um, that you might have, the importance of attention, guys. David, thank you so much for tuning in. Yeah? Attention, you know, like Instagram, all there is is attention. Right? You look at those photos, you look at how properly done they are. It's your attention. That five seconds of acknowledging that this person did something, even in other channels, swiping right, that's attention. Yeah? So all of these things are, are attention-grabbing, attention-sucking little things that we on the other side, I told you that this is actually making it harder for you, right? But you also need to get that customer's attention. Yeah? So do you actually know what content you need to create to get your customer's attention? Do you? Do you know the content that your clients are actually looking at right now or your future prospects? What are they looking at right now to actually grab them by the, yeah? First, you really, really need to understand your customers. That's why when we started this video, I went in and I was looking at exactly where you could be right now. I know you don't have leads. I know you don't have a guaranteed income. I know you're studying everything to get ahead. You spend a lot of money on a lot of courses right now. All you want is certainty. You want proven systems. You want proven solutions. You're alone. You don't have a network. You don't have that much freedom. You're tied to your computer and you're struggling and not making Making enough income now this is where the online prosperity comes in you know what because this thing is designed for you I took and paid attention every single day in my newsfeed I'm listening I'm watching I'm learning I'm I'm getting to understand you as a potential customer you know and that's the reason why this fits like oh oh my god I think this guy gets it so first, you need to understand your customers. You need to see how they walk, how they talk, how they consume, and how they behave in certain scenarios. And, and you need to keep testing what they like and what it is about your message, your business. What do they actually dig? All right? Because there's no point in you just putting out stuff there that nobody's paying attention to. You know, that, need, that means that you need to walk with or you need to talk with teenagers if they're your customers. You need to know their lingo. You need to get into the, to the moms of Melbourne, moms of Sydney, moms of Brisbane. What do they do? Who do they talk to? Who do they buy from? Yeah, you need to understand what their struggles are. What do they really need sorting out? You know, go to all the soccer games, see how people react when their team loses. Watch, learn, you know what I mean? You adapt, you execute, you fail. Even if you repeat and, 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 and you fail again, you fail again, do it again. Get to.
to know your customer intimately that whenever you say something, they're like, wait a minute, is, is this guy in my office? Do you know what I mean? This is not a motivational video, guys, for you online people. Guys, this is what will make you win. Don't go out chasing for all the, you know, shiny objects or whatever. The person that you need money from is the person you gotta understand. What do they want? How is your problem going to fix their solution? Do you know what I mean? Pain. What payoff are you giving them? Is your product actually helping them? Because there's no point in you flogging out a product. No marketing is ever going to put out a product that is not working then. And guys, one last thing before I actually jump off. You see, there's a lot of competition on the market right now. And I know you did not see this one coming. Yeah? And this is what you need to be obsessed about. In today's market, the competition is even bigger than ever before. All right. Now, because, you know, you, you as an online business person, the competition is not another brand. It's not another person in your industry. It's the customer's friends. It's the customer's family. It's the other media companies that are grabbing your customer's attention. The reason being they have studied them. They understand them and they're giving them what they want. Yeah. Think about it. Just think about it before I leave. I actually do have one flat minute before we go. You know, let's say you're like me, a digital marketer, and you're, you're working on getting your customers to click on an ad or, you know, to buy something or to give you um, their email in exchange of a um, whatever it is that you would have given them, like a lead magnet or something like that. And, you know, maybe you're using social media and, and let's say it's Facebook that you're using there. And, you know, you're posting every day great photos, awesome videos, you know, engage lives like this and even if you get them to like your content at times there are days where you are gonna see zero likes zero engagement on any of your content why this is because the online newspaper in that person's area probably just published an article you know about a sensible situation in your town that everybody has their eyes on all right. Or some family member just posted a cute photo of a kid eating a cookie or something like that. Do you know what I mean? And, and it might be way more important to your customer than what you think your content is about. You got to know that stuff. All right. So if you're not speaking in your, you know, your language or their language that they understand, the competition is bigger than you actually think and is getting bigger. Who are they listening to? What do they care about? And how is your product going to make a difference in the market? All right. So you got to create a strategy, not only based on what you feel like you want, but what your brand represents and what the competition is out there that people are actually paying more attention to. You need to get into your customer's mind. I want to repeat this. And it's not like some psychological or NLP stuff or some airy fairy stuff. But you got to make sure that your brand is a part of their life. Otherwise, you become a one-click wonder. Guys, this has been Prosper. I hope this video sort of opens up this week for you and really, really makes you take audit of what you're doing, how you're creating and who you're relating to. Okay. I really want you to win. I really want you to earn a lot more money with less struggle. You know why? Because once you start doing it for people that actually care about your stuff, it no longer becomes work. Let's continue this conversation in the comments below. And I really, really want you to win guys. In the meantime, enjoy the rest of your day.